trial in the city's financial crisis. That's right. The judge is trying to decide whether Detroit is eligible for bankruptcy. This is day five of that process. Emergency manager Kevin Orr is testifying once again, answering questions from people objecting to the move. Now, this follows the history-making testimony yesterday from Governor Rick Snyder. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live downtown. Jim, these two are the decision makers here who put Detroit in bankruptcy. Tell us what they've been saying. It's the challengers, the attorneys representing retirees and the city employees unions who are facing the cuts, who are grilling Kevin Orr, the emergency manager, on the stand all morning this morning. Remember, there are no cameras inside federal court, so take a look at some of the highlights. Kevin Orr was asked, did he intend to make an end run around the Michigan Constitution that protects pensions against cuts? He denied that. Was Kevin Orr acting as an agent for the state in February of this year? year, talking with Mayor Bing and others about changes at City Hall long before he was hired as emergency manager. He denied that. He did admit that the governor's so-called nerd fund that has now since been uh, dissolved was paying for his housing, but he also testified he does not know who any of those donors are. Those donors have been kept secret. He said appraisals are still underway with the art over at the Detroit Institute that could raise billions to fund pensions and other city operations. They're still looking at monetizing the water department, possibly turning it into a regional authority to raise some money. And have they negotiated a good faith with retirees? That's the key to opposition here. We hope to be able to understand what Mr. Orr thinks with regard to how he acted in good faith. Obviously, we disagree that there were good faith negotiations. In addition to that, you heard some of the questions yesterday for the governor with regard to how anybody who's a retiree, just a, just a person at home getting this 100-page document can really understand what they're going to get. A couple more points. Kevin Orr, the emergency manager, was asked, would he accept a proposal from retirees that did not cut pensions? He said probably not. And could he recall any discussions with the governor for the state to cover any pension losses? He said, I don't remember. And then the judge, Stephen Rhodes, asked, wait a minute, you don't remember whether you discussed with the governor? Him writing a check for $3.5 billion, Kevin Orr said it was never my intent for the state to cover any of Detroit's losses. Kevin Orr continues on the stand this afternoon. I'm live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.